Okay, guys, we're going to start with the first explanation. This is um, 3 T. Fabio, chapter 7, the notes of 7.3, calculating with fractions. I'm going to talk about four things today. The first one is write as a fra one fraction, simplify the fraction, calculate. So first calculate and then simplify. And here is a little bit more difficult. Okay, so I'm going to start with write as one fraction. Um, yeah, first let's start base. A um, little bit simple here. So 5 over 8 minus 1 over 2. I'm going to... Um, the denominators, so that means the bottom ones, is 8 and 2, are not the same. I'm going to make them equal. Uh, I can see that immediately I do this one. So it's a numerator and a denominator, both times 4, and then the denominators are the same. So times 4 becomes 4. This one times 4 becomes 8. Then the numerators minus each other, the denominator stays the same. So it's 1 over 8. We know this, we knew this for many, many years, so let's move on to one with letters in it. Okay, this one. Denominators are not the same. Let's make them equal. If I look at the numbers 5 and 2, I know, um, because I know my numbers really, really well, I know all my tables, I'm going to change them into 10. So... If I'm going to make this 5 a 10 and do them times 2, this one also times 2. So it's going to 2x over 10. If I want to change this one into a 10, I have to do it times 5. So this one times 5 as well. Again, with plus and minus, denominators need to be the same. So I'm going to do numerators time plus each other in this case. So it's 7x over 10. Um, if I want to, I can change this into this both correct okay all right and then the last um um all right so and this is the last example 5 over 2x plus 3 over 7x again denominators are not equal they have to be equal in order to do plus or minus so i'm going to change them into 14x 14x um so this is what happens times 7 times 7, and this one times 2 times 2, you see, times 2 times 2 becomes 6, 14x. And then just 35 plus 6 is 41 over 4x, done. Can't write down the x here, you can only do that when the x is in the numerator. Okay, so this is your answer. Okay, okay, second part, simplify the fraction. What does simplify mean? Make it smaller. All right. So if I look at this, 7x divided by 21x squared. All right. What does it actually mean? Well, here in between, you don't see it, but there's a times. Let me write it down like this. So 7 times x divided by. Hey, and 21. Um, do you remember paragraph 1? You had to write down numbers as a product of prime numbers. Now. This is not a prime number, because I can write it down as a product of 3 times 7. That's 21, of course, times x times x, because that's x squared. Okay, now I have a good overview here. What are, is similar in a numerator and a denominator? I can see that 7, they both have a product of 7 in it. So, you know, I can just... Divided by 7 here, divided by 7 here, and they are gone. I could do the same with an x. Okay, here I striped away, striped away both of them. It doesn't mean it's 0. That is not possible. What is it then? Yes, 1. Okay, and what's left over here? It's 3 and an x. 3x. So basically, if you want to go from this step to this step immediately, you, if you want to do that, that's fine. Then you do... Divided by 7x, so that's 1, divided by 7x, so it's 3x. I recommend you, if you do this in your head, first do the numbers, and then you just write out the numbers, and then you look at the letters, and then you write down whatever is left over from the letters. Okay, let's do another example. 15x by the power of 4, divided by 60x by the power of 2. 
Okay, first look at the numbers. 15 and 60 are both a multiple of 5. So if I divide it by 5, and this one divided by 5 is 12. Okay. Hey, hmm, I think I can divide it a little bit more because uh, this one is divisible by 3 and this one is divisible by 3. So I guess 5 was not the highest um, product. Um, I could have divided by, yes, just the number 15. Okay, let's do that. If I divide this by 15, the leftover is 1. If I divide this by 15, the leftover is 4. Now I'm going to look at the letters. This is x times x times x times x. This is x times x. So the leftover here is x by the power of 2. Leftover here is nothing, just a 4. Now again, if the letter is in the numerator, I can also write it down like this. 1 fourth x squared. All right. Um, calculate and simplify. So... You just get a calculation. First you calculate it. Write down the answer. You're going to check if you can make it smaller. So simplify. Here we go. Numerators times each other. 1 times 5x equals 5x. And the denominators times each other. So 4x times x equals 4x squared. Now, if I look at the numbers, I know this is 1 1 fourth. But, you know, let's just leave it like this. And this is an x and this is x times x. So this is a 5, and then 4x. You see, I did divide it by x here, I did divide it by x here. So now you get 4x by the power of 1, there's a little 1 here. Now, and this is done. Another example is 2x over 7 times 5 divided by 10x squared. All right, 2x times 5 equals 10x. And 7 times 10x squared, 70x squared. So I calculated it, I'm done with that, uh, and then I'm going to simplify it. Um, first you look at the numbers. Divided by 10 here, divided by 10 here. Um, I guess that's 7x squared. Now I'm going to look at the letters. I can divide it by x, divide it by x. You see, if you want to, you can also go from this step to this step immediately. All right, so last part from this paragraph is simplify. Here you see a function, 8x plus 12 divided by 4. Um, you have to simplify um, this function. Hey, what does it mean if you divide by 4? Um, if I divide by 4, that's the same as doing times 1 fourth. Yeah, divided by 4 is the same as doing times 1 fourth. So that uh, given, I'm going to uh, use that. So it's actually 1 fourth times this part. So that's 8x plus 12. It's exactly the same. You see, for example, to make it easier, if you divide by 2, it's the same as doing times a half. Right? So if you divide by 4, it's the same as doing times 1 fourth. You can do that with every single number. Now, this looks familiar. This is just uh, expanding brackets with single brackets. So this times this, this times this. 1 fourth times 8x is 2x. 1 fourth times 12 is 3. So actually, this is equal to 2x plus 3. Hey, and what is it? A linear function. Now, um, and let's do another one. For example, 180 minus 515x divided by minus 30. Um, this 4, you changed it into 1 fourth. This minus 30, you just changed it into this. And you do times 180 minus 15x. This times this, this times this. Uh, is um, if I do this number times 180 only do the numerator times 180 so you get 180 divided by minus 30 that is minus 
6. 1 minus 30 times minus 15x um, becomes plus because minus times minus becomes plus. And this is 15x divided by minus 30 is a half. So that's half x. If you find this kind of difficult, so this is the answer. Again, a linear function. If you find this kind of difficult, you can also do this number divided by minus 30. Write down the answer. And this term divided by minus 30. And this is the answer. All right, so that's also a possibility. Um, and this you can also uh, check out the example on page 15 in your book. Um, it's also a good explanation there. Okay, so this was it for paragraph three.